Hey everybody, it's Tim with Broken Dice bringing you the last little installment of this solo wargaming project. Uh, this is turn 7 with my Greeks versus the Persians, 2,000 points using the um, Clash of Empire rule set. little recap again. Uh, on the left, you can see it from behind the, uh, the Greek lines. Uh, again, they're in a bad way. They've already got themselves surrounded. And the picture on the right shows it from behind the uh, Persian lines. I know that all the command cards were uh, dealt out. And the uh, Persians, once again, won the command flip about uh, at least five out of the seven times they went first and this one is going to tell the tale I believe Persian phase of turn seven <sighs> here we go at the movement phase uh, three units declare a charge upon the uh, phalanx to the left uh, well I should say the unit on the left uh, if we look at the red dice on the left side of this unit that if you uh, look closely there are 16 damage and that has taken them down below um, the ability to maintain their phalanx formation so now they become just um, a regular unit probably uh, the way I looked at them they will probably be uh, offensive long spear units as is described in their rule book um, and this has a, 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 a big detriment to them uh, because there's so many advantages for a phalanx in combat that uh, to lose that is uh, very detrimental very detrimental and you can see over here on the right these uh, Persian units are holding they're going to shoot at the uh, general's unit, the Greek general's unit. And the general down here of the Persian forces, along with the camel riders, and this unit of spare power are all going to charge this infantry unit here. Uh, during the shooting phase, uh, again, even, even though that... Uh, so we have this small unit here shooting into their right side. They they were only able to do uh, like a couple of points, and the sparrow bar only did like a point of damage in the shooting phase. There's no shooting to be had anywhere else on the table, so we move to the combat phase. All right, into the combat phase, <laughs> we see that the. Uh, uh, the Persians have been able to inflict four wounds upon the uh, infantry unit, but the infantry unit, in return, did four wounds back. So that that's kind of a wash. And it came back down to basically uh, calculating the uh, the results of the charging, charging in the rear, multiple charges, and all that, and and then we roll for their for their morale and. What you do is you roll two dice six and you add your damage. Um, and then you subtract them around. And, or, or you subtract the, uh, not, not just the damage, but you subtract your, what, what would be your total margin of victory, which would have been uh, four. And then because then, then that would have made it 13. You subtract the 7 for the morale. It loses 6. Which basically means that unit is destroyed. There's a look of it again from the, the back side from the, from the Persian side. Well, and as we can see here on this slide that the, uh, the unit was destroyed. They failed their morale check. And, and as they failed it, they were supposed to flee, but they couldn't flee because there was no place to flee to without running into another unit. And so they were destroyed. Um, or when, no, actually, sorry, I have to correct that. Actually, with the uh, modifiers, they were, uh, they, they were already destroyed. They were dispersed, broken and dispersed was the, was the highest one. Yeah. And so that was the point when I decided that 
there's no need to go ahead and do the Greek phase because one, the Greeks general was too far away to charge any unit. There, the, plus the fact that I rolled the dice and it said that it wasn't going to go on to another turn anyway. So their fate, part of this, their phase of turn seven was would have been it just you stand there, maybe go into square or formation or something. But other than that, the game ended this way. Uh, for those of you who are interested, the points, the Persians actually had like a thousand points and the Greeks did only like 354 points. And that a little bit of that was poor positioning on my part. I didn't set the game up right. So I learned a lot um, going through the rules. Uh, I'm going to do another short little video on what I like and what I don't like, what sections you need to kind of pay attention to when you're setting this stuff up. Uh, I really kind of overall like it, but I'm going to go a little bit more into detail in another little video. But other than that, uh, we're done with this project. We'll be moving on to a, a different solo wargaming project. I haven't made up my mind what I want to do. I'm considering doing a Persian on Persian fight with a Greek component on either side. Just, just to throw in some flavor. And other than that, that's uh, the way this one's going to end. And uh, I hope everyone has a great week. Uh, I will see you next time, and there'll be some more videos coming along. I'm still working on my Spanish troops for my Romans. I need to break out my Romans and, and rebase them, redo some of them. Some of them are on square bases, some of them are on round bases. That that was my very first foray into historical, and they're, they're a disaster. So they need a lot of TLC to, to get them up to speed with the uh, uh, Spanish allies that I've been working on. Hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have a couple of units of Spanish um, the, um, skirmishers for that for that army, for basically for that division. Um, so everybody have a great rest of your week. Uh, everybody stay safe, and I will see you next time.